Hi everyone, this is Chris from the DIYDish.com and Kim is behind the camera Hello. again. Kim, I think you need to be in this uh, <laughs> seat some one of these days. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I like it right here, thanks. Oh boy. Well, we are happy to have you for our second helping of this week's episode um, of doing the lampshades. And it's been fun to read your comments and see how excited you are about getting those lampshades um, ready to go in your homes. So if you do it, we want to see pictures, don't we Kim? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Great inspiration. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, one of the first questions that was on the blog uh, was that several of you had wanted to see a more up-close uh, picture of the, the cute knot flower that um, Kim had showed in the two-minute craft countdown. There so there you go. Kind of fun. And we would definitely recommend that you use a similar color felt on the back as is what your front is. Yeah. Very pretty. All right, another uh, great comment came in from Michelle, one of our readers, who had a, just a brilliant suggestion. I think, oh wow, that's, that is so smart. That's why we love hearing from all of you because we know you have such great ideas. Remember on the episode when we talked about ironing this seam right here that you end up closing? Well, uh, you know, we had said that, you know, if you can get it in, underneath your iron, then you're going to be uh, good to go. But Michelle had a great suggestion where she um, said that you could also use your flat iron to be able to press those edges. So I thought that was brilliant. You know the flat iron that, you know, I do my hair with all the time or else it goes skewampus? Yeah, the flat iron, perfect for uh, being able to get into a tight spot. So brilliant thank idea, you, Michelle. Michelle, for sharing that. Oh, I guess I should keep this up and show you the burlap flower. So now let's get ready to show you how this uh, fun burlap flower is done. Notice how big and puffy it is. It's uh, very three-dimensional and we love it and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. What you'll want is a three-inch styrofoam ball. At, um, at least. Mm -hmm. We tried doing it with smaller, but smaller doesn't seem to work very well because it just breaks apart. So don't go this small. Go at least three inches, but you could also go bigger. And then simply cut that ball in half with your knife, okay? And now you'll have that half circle, okay? Kind of a, a dome. Then you take your burlap, and Kim and I are loving burlap, as you know. And you're going to simply just cut out a really simple flower out of that burlap. And I've done one right here. Notice that, that it's not real perfect, is it? Yeah. I just needed some petals there um, because uh, that's what's going to help the shape of the flower. But don't worry, you don't need a pattern or anything. Just make some little petals, you'll be good to go. All right, so from Show there... Show me the flower one more time so people oh, can see. Oh, okay. There were four petals on there, but you could do three or five. It yeah, really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So definitely just go for it and have fun with this. Okay, I need to grab my, <laughs> my uh, glue gun here that I forgot to put up here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take my glue gun, dab a little bit of glue there, stick my burlap on top, and then I've taken this little stick and I'm poking it down the center. And I just continue the same process all the way around until the entire uh, semicircle is completely covered. Okay, just like that. Now you may wonder what I'm using here. This it happens to be a skinny stick you can pick up at the craft store. However, if you don't uh, want to run and to the craft store and get that and you have everything else on hand and you're just ready to go, here's another idea for you. You can take a clothespin, let's see if I had it back together again, <laughs> just take a clothespin, pull it, you know, apart, and now you have the perfect um, little stick to be able to, to put those in. And tell them why you wouldn't use a pencil or a needle. Yes, um, thanks Kim. You definitely would not want to use a, a needle or a pen or a pencil. What things you might normally think that you could use on this to push down because the burlap has such large holes that the pencil will just basically go through there and it won't be able to stick inside yeah. the styrofoam. So by having this flat a little bit wider surface here, you're able to stick it right in there and it's going to cover more of those holes 
without poking all the way through. So does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so if I were to continue doing this, I would just follow that same process and do all the way around. So now, when you're finally done, you would finish it off with a cute little button. So this is one of those flowers you would uh, not want for your hair necessarily, not even a handbag, but some kind of flat, solid surface. Maybe it would something. look nice on a frame, too. I, do, I think so. I think it would look great on a frame, um, on your lampshades. Um, maybe you have some ideas of some places that one of these flowers would re look really neat. So we'd love to hear your ideas and suggestions and um, hopefully that was able to, you know, I was able to share with you how to do the burlap flower. So I think that's it. Okay. What do you think, Kim? I want to see their pictures of the lampshades they're doing. Definitely. We want to see pictures of the lampshades you're doing because it sounds like a lot of you have some really great ideas. There's so many great different ways to trim, so I can't wait to see uh, your creativity and how you put them together. So be sure to add those pictures to our Flickr group. Okay. We'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.